This is the first video in a two-part series showing you how to use the TGP and guided bombs in the F-18C Hornet. First turn on the FLIR, stand by, and then when you're ready to use it, turn it on to ON. Also want to put on the LTDR to save, LST and FLIR to ON. Now that our FLIR is turned on, we want to come to one of our MFDs, or we'll choose the right one here. Click the center bottom button to get to the tack menu and press the FLIR button at the top. This will turn on the TGP. As you can see, it's not timed out. So we'll just wait until this is uh, ready to go. Now that our TGP is finally cooled down, we can select the AG mode on the left here. And you can see our TGP is currently uh, looking in front of our aircraft. If we want to see where it's looking, we can click the center button down here to get to the tack, SA, and we can see that the square here is where it's looking uh, relative to our aircraft. We want to slave this to our uh, waypoint. Uh, first, we want to select the waypoint that we want to slave it to. This can be done on the SA page, using these arrows, or on the HSI. To get to the HSI, you want to click the middle button here to get to TAC. One more time for support, and HSI. You can see we have the same two arrows here. We will select waypoint one. And we want to then hit WPDSG to slave our TGP to the waypoint. This can be done on either the HSI or the SA page. And as you can see, now it's looking at the waypoint. If it doesn't slave, then you want to check your stores and check that you've got um, an appropriate weapon selected or no weapon selected at all. For example, if you have the J82 or any JDAM in pre planned mode, it will not slave to the waypoint. So make sure that's in target of opportunity mode as well. And I think it also does this as well with um, uh, CCIP mode. You need to have your bomb in auto mode as opposed to CCIP in order for it to work. Now that we have our TGP looking at the target, we can start using it to look around for targets. First thing we want to do is actually select the TGP as the sensor of interest so that we can actually move it around. Now to do this, you want to do the use the sensor select switch in direction of the TGP screen. So for example, our TGP is on the right here. So we'll do sensor select right. Small addendum here um, to actually see which screen is selected as sensor of interest. Uh, you can look for this diamond in the top right hand corner. Whichever screen has the diamond in the top right hand corner is the sensor of interest and your TDC will move that particular sensor. You can see when I switch to another screen, the diamond disappears. Switch back to this screen, diamond reappears. Right, so now we can, um, oh, there's a bomb coming in the way, let's move that out of the way. Now we can use our keys to zoom in and out, so, um, which, are, which is the radar antenna elevation. And we can also use our throttle designated controller to move the TGP around. And then we also have the RAID FOV switch, and that will let us change the field of view. You can see there's a truck there. We hold down the RAID FOV switch, it will switch to black hot or white hot. As you can see, there's, uh, you can also change between these two using this FLIR button here. So that's CCD and FLIR. Um, and these zoom controls can also be uh, reached from the MFD as well. So if you don't have a HOTAS, you can do it there as well. If we want to switch between area track and point track, uh, we can press the sensor select switch in the direction of the TGP screen. So in this case, it's on the right, press sensor select right, and it will switch to point track. And you can see if we zoom out, there's now a box instead of uh, just four lines. And that means if this truck starts to move, it will track the truck. Um, if we want to get back to area track mode, we can press it one more time and it will go to an INS mode. See it says MEM here. One more time after that, it will go to area track. And now it's tracking the ground as opposed to the truck. Um, if we want to designate a target with the TGP, we can just press the throttle designated controller designate button. And you won't see anything happen. But on the HUD, um, there will be a diamond uh, when we get a bit closer. Actually, I'll point to the target now. You see there's the diamond here. This will be on the target now. Around. 
want to. See that's on the target. And then that would be ready for a uh, JDAM, which I'll show you in video two. One last thing, if we want to reset our TGP, just to be bore sighted again, we make sure we've got the TGP set as sensor of interest. And then we press the undesignate button and that will make it into slow, snow plow mode. And then if we want it to be bore sighted, we can press the cage button. And then it will be bore sighted to the aeroplane. So thanks for watching. If you want to see how to employ um, laser guided and GPS guided bombs, please uh, see the second video that I've done, done on this subject. The link will be in the description.